ta 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 Welcome back, fellow LEGO lovers, to La Bam. I'm Cameron Schreiner from Georgia Tech, and today's video is about light sensor programming. In this video, we're going to cover the basics on how to program the LEGO light sensor, as well as learning how to calibrate it so it can tell what shade is what. So grab a robot with a light sensor and a computer, and probably uh, two different shade surface, uh, maybe a white table and some blue painter's tape. And let's get started. Okay, so now that Lego's open, I'm going to name this program Light Basics for now, and then hit Go. Now, the first thing we have to do before we even build our program is we need to calibrate our light sensor. And to do that, you have to download the Calibrate program. Make sure your robot is plugged in and turned on, then go up to Tools and Calibrate Sensors. Now, you should be able to click on some stuff. If this is grayed out and you can't click on anything, just hit close and try it again. And go to tools, calibrate sensors. Now make sure that the light sensor is highlighted in orange. And then depending on which port you plug your light sensor in, make sure the correct port is checked. The default port is 3 and mine is plugged into 3, so I'm going to choose 3. After this, hit the calibrate button and it should download this program to your robot. Alright, if this worked and you've chosen the right port and the right uh, sensor from the list, look down at your light sensor and there should be a red light emanating from the bottom of it. Okay, so let's take a look at our robot and see how to calibrate. It's time for some handheld camera action. Let's take a look at our robot now that we've downloaded our calibration program. So if you've done this correctly, you'll notice that the red light sensor is on. And as you can see, I have uh, two different shades here. I've got white table, and I have some blue painter's tape. Now I keep saying shade because the light sensor cannot tell a difference in color. All it can do is measure reflection. And all it does is give a number back to the robot. So whether this tape was blue or black, or green, that doesn't really matter. All it's going to do is be able to give you a number based on the reflection of the tape. So also the robot can only judge with the light sensor a minimum and a maximum. But it also doesn't know which one is which. We have to tell it that our table is going to be our maximum value and our tape is going to be our minimum value because the tape isn't going to reflect as much. So if you look at your robot running the calibration program, you notice that the first thing it asks for is a minimum. And right now my value is around 750. Now that's pretty high because it's looking at the table. But remember our minimum value is our darker color, whatever color is closest to black. So I'm going to move the light sensor so it's facing just blue tape. And if I look back at my robot, if you notice, the number has dropped to around 400. 390 in this case. So that's good because it went down so that means that our blue tape is reflecting less and will be our minimum value. So I'm going to press and hold the orange button for about a second and then let go. And if you notice now my robot is now asking for a maximum value and it still says 390 so we need to move the light sensor back to white table and if you notice now my number has jumped up to around 750, 760. That's a good thing, and as we expected, that should it should rise for the maximum value. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the orange square again for about a second, and it'll say calibration done. And that's all you have to do. Okay, so now you guys know how to calibrate your LEGO light sensor. So in the next video, we're going to go over how to program the light sensor and give you some basic uses for competition. So I look forward to seeing you next time on LeBam, and thanks for watching.
Lots and such chunks of hey, hey, lots and such chunks of hey, hey, lots and such.